this video is how to create an access timer. First of all, I have a text box here, and it's going to hold my values that I'm going to count down from 10. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 2, or whatever, you get the point. <laughs> so a start timer is where I'm starting, the, starting from. So the nice thing about Access is that it has a, uh, it has a little event called the uh, timer event. So the form automatically does something on the timer. So it goes by the system clock, uh, the clock gear system, and it count it automatically counts down at a certain interval. Okay, and I'm going to show you where that is. If I right click on the form here uh, and go into the form properties, I'm going to see uh, if I click on the event area, if I go to the event area, the on timer event okay on timer and I can program that event here timer interval you can either set this at design time or through your code okay I decided to set it through the code because I have a little more flexibility with that but uh, that's the interval of time and this is a millisecond so like 10 seconds is gonna be a thousand it's gonna be the setting of a thousand uh, default it's zero so Anyway, whenever whenever the form automatically uh, does this timer thing, I'm going to program for that or ask for a certain value to appear. So, uh, event procedure, I said event procedure, and my event procedure is going to be as follows. Okay, at each interval, each time I'm gonna. I'm going to set this modular variable. Okay, I have an and I I went ahead and declared that in the uh, general deck section. Dim m underscore int timer as integer because I want to hold the number value, and I'm going to say m int timer equals m int timer minus one. So each at each interval, I'm counting down from a certain point. And I want to reflect that that value in a text box. Okay, it's going to have the value of my modular variable. And then whenever the time is up, whenever the time is zero, I am going to say uh, the timer interval is going to be zero, and I'm going to have a message box saying time is up or do something because of that. The value has now been exceeded or been met. Okay, where do I set the timer interval? Uh, whenever I click the button. So I'm clicking the timer button and my timer interval, I'm setting that, I'm seeing a thousand. Okay, a thousand means that it's going to be, uh, like I said before, at this is millisecond. So a thousand equals 10 seconds. And my, I'm setting my modular variable to be 10. Okay, because I'm counting down from that point, and that is equal to the timer interval. And then I'm going to set focus to my to my text box and make the value equal to my modular variable. And then I'm going to so I don't delete that. I actually see it. I'm setting the focus to my command button, my BTN timer. So how does this all work together? Well. Glad you asked because let's go ahead and into the form view. Into the form view, and I'm going to click on the form view here and I'm going to start my timer. Okay, click start timer and bang, here it is in action. Okay, and when it reaches to zero, it's going to say your time is up. Time is up great and again so start timer 10 9 8 7 6 and when I click this button if I don't set this to f be the focus this is going to be dimmed out it's going to be blank you won't be able to see what's going on so that's why I went ahead and I set the focus to that so that this wouldn't happen you would be able to see uh, you'd be able to see the countdown without me having to but having me having to manipulate it and and do weird things to it. So anyway, uh, 
I hope that you got a lot out of this video and go ahead and go back to the sign. I'm going to have this here application on the website so you can download it yourself. Uh, please comment, rate, and or subscribe if that's uh, if you can do that. Thanks for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.